This video is going to show the new 3D material only feature in GibbsCam 14. This feature will calculate the leftover material not just between operations, but between coordinate systems and even between turning and milling operations. We're going to use this example here. So let me get out of simulation and show you how it works. So after this part is turned, we're going to end up with a profile, something like this. And because of this profile, you can see that there's going to be a lot of air cutting here to do this pocket. What I want to do is I want to tell Gibbscam, hey, there was something that happened before this. Let's ignore that material that's not there. And now in Gibbscam 14, that's really easy to do. So down here at the bottom, we have use stock and just click on material only. This will calculate the leftover material regardless of operation or coordinate system. Now you can see how much more efficient that toolpath is. This is going to cut down on air cutting, which is going to really uh, speed up your cycle time and get parts off the machine much, 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 much faster. Now this example was using the difference between a milling operation and a turning operation. Now let me show an example where it's between two milling operations, but using different coordinate systems. This milling part, I want a machine on my fifth axis. I need to rough it out and finish it, but the reach on my roughing tool is only about an inch and a half. And you can see here, it's three and a half inches tall. So I'm not gonna be able to get all the way down. Now, the problem is, is I don't want to have my second tool in this setup have to go through and recut all of the material that it thinks is still there. Um, from the previous setup. And I'll show you an example of that with uh, tool simulation. Here's the toolpath representation from the first tool. Let me continue on to that second tool. So we can see that there's kind of this cross hatching where the two toolpaths actually overlap. If we kind of look at the top view of this, we can see that the second toolpath is actually coming out and trying to clear away the material that's already gone. In GibbsCam 14, it's really, really easy to change that. There's this checkbox that says material only. I'm gonna go ahead and redo the toolpath. Let's go ahead and play it now. Now we can see how that second toolpath only addresses the areas that the first toolpath missed. Let's check this out in machine sim. I'm gonna go ahead and speed through that first toolpath. We can see the material that it took away. It took away a good amount of material. Let me back up so, so we can see the rotation here. So now you can see as I zoom in, that tool is only addressing the material that's left over from that first tool pad. So if you have any questions about five axis machining, using different coordinate systems, rust machining, please reach out to your local resellers. Thank you so much.